With so many people turning to streaming as a career, it's no surprise that more and more are looking for the necessary equipment without breaking the bank. Enter the Mayona Caster E2 that is jam-packed with features and does not overwhelm you as a beginner, and even more so does not overwhelm your wallets. Hey everyone, this is JM of Yucatech and let's have this portable studio set up for a hands-on review. Let's take a look at what's included in the box. Here we have a considerably compact packaging that actually fits in my backpack, making it highly portable. Open it up and you'll be greeted by the manuals and the audio interface itself underneath. Everything here is apparently made of plastic, making it very light to hold. There's a condenser mic on the side and a smaller box containing two audio cables and a USB-C to USB-A cable. In the second compartment, we see more accessories including the stand set for the mic. The shock mount here is made of steel and is quite heavy, although it doesn't have rubber stops underneath, so you gotta be careful in placing it on the table with a smooth surface. We also have a pop filter, a pair of earbuds, and a 3-pin XLR cable for the mic. The mic stand is easy to assemble, height is adjustable, and you can change its angle to your liking. Do note that these accessories are all plug-and-play, which is extremely helpful for a beginner like me when it comes to audio equipment. At first glance, I really thought there's a lot of things happening here, but I get the hang of it eventually. The top view protrudes the knobs, keys, dials, and buttons, as well as backlit indicators for volumes, status, and autotune? We'll explore more on that later. The sides are blank, while the rear composes all the available inputs and outputs including the power button and two USB-C ports, one for your PC and another solely for charging. There's the XLR 3-pin port and even a dedicated port for your instrument like an electric guitar. Interestingly, there's a toggle for mic setting to set preamp from 40 decibels for condenser microphones and up to 50 or 60 decibels for dynamic microphones, which is neat if you have other mics to use. Not to mention, the sound card supports 48 volts of phantom power that condenser microphones require to work. While at the front, it has two audio jacks for monitoring its overall audio via headphones or earphones. Moving on to my experience, like I mentioned, I got the hang of it in a while, but that's after I did some research on what these buttons and keys do. Meowna itself has provided a user guide video, so it makes things easier to understand. You can check their video in the link down below. What I really liked about the Meowna Caster E2 is the range of customizations it brings. Aside from the usual equalizer dials or some onboard effects, there's a sound pad you can use to record some snippets. On the right portion of the interface, we see more buttons that are essential to podcast. The denoise functionality is superb. With just a tap of a button, it cancels out the background noises whether you're speaking or not. Here's what it sounds like when the denoise feature is off. And here's a sample with the denoise button enabled. The difference is impressive, right? There's also the sidechain button that automatically lowers down the music volume from the aux input as you speak. The autotune feature is the only one that doesn't have a physical button. It uses a capacitive touch instead. It's fun to mess with autotune, especially since it doesn't require any software to install. The feature is already built in, with 12 different keys to tune your voice into. Meowna says that the sound card can last up to 8 hours of battery life. And based on my experience, it has gone down to 50% with almost 3 hours of use. Well, for the benefit of the doubt, I haven't charged it yet since I received it. I would say that a bundled microphone does deliver great studio quality audio. In fact, the whole voiceover you've been hearing in this video it is recorded from the Meowna Caster E2 and its bundled mic. Take note that the mic has a cardioid polar pattern, thus it will record the best audio from the front where the Meowna moniker is printed and not anywhere else. Meanwhile, it is the opposite with the included pair of earbuds as it outputs mediocre sound. That led me to use my own headphones for monitoring the audio but yes, it's decent enough to hear the overall audio clearly. Besides, the inclusion of earbuds is already a win, especially on a budget. The Meowna Caster E2 bundle is a solid start to making your streaming and podcast streams a reality through its great sound quality, wide range of customizations, and ease of accessibility. Priced at only 7,990 pesos, it makes an ideal package for both beginner and professional streamers, podcasters, and music producers alike. Additionally, with its highly portable build, you can take your studio anywhere you go. So, if you're looking for a great way to get into streaming on a budget, look no further than the Meowna Caster E2. 
I hope you enjoyed this video or find it informative. Be sure to hit that like button, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and tap the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, or visit yukatech.com for more tech news and reviews. This has been JM of Yukatech. Peace out.